Okay, so we were talking about this situation live the other day on my Facebook. If you're not following me on Facebook, follow me at facebook.com slash official Rodney Keith Walker. Um, we were talking about this live and I forgot to make the video uploaded to YouTube. Um, so what the topic on the video was, was about women, women who are getting or building or who have a complete jealousy of their man now being a successful person. And I think this is a very bad thing. And it's this situation is happening out here in all forms of employment. Uh, but of course, by me being in a, net, a network marketer, an entrepreneur, um, I wanted to touch basis on this and talk about it in the video because it's really fucked up, right? Um, there's situations out here where a, a woman is unhappy with her man. She's unhappy with her, her husband, her boyfriend. Maybe they got kids, maybe they don't. And he's not providing for her or providing for the household the way that she expects. She wants a man who can make money. She wants a man who can pay all the bills or half of the bills. She wants a man that has his own car, doesn't need to use her car. She wants a man that can buy groceries. She wants a man that can pay when they go out to dinner or she wants to be able to even be able to go out to dinner. She wants to be able to go out to dinner. She wants to be able to take vacations. She wants to have a better life. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting to have a good life or and live and have nice things. Or I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but, but, so now, you know, either your man was flat broke and he didn't have any money at all, or he... He um he has a low paying job. He doesn't have a a good job. He doesn't have something going on in his life where he's making enough money to be able to provide for you or the kids and make things uh, uh more comfortable at home. Okay, and and so you know sometimes in these type of situations, as you know, the one of the biggest problems in a relationship is when the money is just not good enough. And the stress builds, the stress builds, and then unforeseen things happen, bad things happen. Now you need extra money for this, you need extra money for that. And and now he can't do anything about it. He can't do anything. And you are tired of being sick and tired. You're about to leave this man because he cannot give you the basics. And maybe you want more than the basics and he can't even give you the basics until he runs into somebody like me, right? And then he runs into this guy. He's on the internet. He's looking for a way to make money. And so he, he can't make any money really on the job. He don't have a college degree. Or maybe he do got a college degree and he still can't get a good job like I know many people out here who can't with a college degree. So he now runs into somebody like Rodney Walker, and he's dipping into this whole situation of making money in Motor Club of America or MCA. And he's learning about it. And he's learning and he, he starts to believe in me. He starts to believe in this. And I'm motivating him. I'm motivating him to do better, to be better, to be to change his mindset. I'm motivating him to stop chasing fucking jobs and to chase the money online, start making money from home, right? And so something in him says, I want to do this. And then more than likely, especially, I mean, this is just how it is. If you're in a relationship, if you get excited about something that you want to do, it's a normal thing for people to go and make the person that they love the most aware of this and they want to try it. But what happens usually, a man will run to his woman and say, hey, I want to sign up for this. And you know what happens sometimes? She will say some stupid shit like, Oh, that's fake. That's a scam. That's not real. Go get a real job or whatever the fuck. And, and all this dumb shit that'll come out of her mouth because she doesn't believe that it's possible for you to become successful working from home. It's just so far-fetched and she doesn't want to hear your bullshit. But 
you decide to push forward anyway without her support. Without her support. Or maybe you do have a woman that actually says, you know what, go ahead and give it a try. Maybe it will work for us. I'm believing you. Okay? So now, either way it goes, you give it a try. You sign up to this business. You're motivated. You're hyped. You're happy. And you are actually one of the people out here who put in the real work and then has the ambition. You have the drive. And you're making money. And months are going by and you're making money. And you're making more and more money. And now you're making unbelievable money. And you're making, you were making, you were on your job and you were bringing home uh, $250 a week after taxes, if that. And now you're bringing home $2,500 a week. Now you're bringing home $3,000 a week. Now you're bringing home $4,000 a week, $5,000 a week, or whatever the case, right? If you were making $250 a week and now you're bringing home $2,500 a week, that's, that's amazing. That's great, right? But some, now you're going through this new life and something happens that should not happen. What's happening? Now, the same woman who was in your ass every day, calling you a loser possibly, treating you like garbage, and not happy with her fucked up lifestyle, this same woman is now mad than a motherfucker that you are successful. She's mad that you are actually making money. She has become jealous of your success. Your woman, right? This is bullshit, and this shit needs to stop. Man, let me tell you something right now. If you are in a relationship with a woman who, who was so unhappy when you were broke, and now she is probably even more unhappy that you have money, you need to get the fuck away from her because she's crazy. Right, this shit is going on in America, and 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 it's just so sad because a woman should want her man to be better, but there's women out here getting jealous that her man is making more money than her now. He's supposed to be making more money than you, right? He's supposed to be taking care of the family. You wanted him to make more money, right? You wanted him to be able to pay for the vacations, take you and the kids to fucking Disney World and all that bullshit. You wanted him to be able to, to buy, buy a nicer car. You tired of riding around in the, the 1999 Grand Am, whatever the fuck. You, was, you simply wanted a better life. You wanted him to be able to provide that. And now that he can, now he done went out and bought himself a new car. Or he done bought the family a new truck or whatever. Now he got money to do whatever it is. You get jealous because he making more money than you? You mad because he don't need you no more? Because you are the one that was paying for everything and now that he don't need you no more, now you getting mad at him? Now you getting jealous of him? This, is, this shit is really going on. This is really fucked up. And you need, listen... If you with a woman who like this, it ain't going to change. I know dudes going through this same situation. I know dudes going through this same situation. I know dude who, done got a, who in the process of getting a divorce right now because of this same situation. She don't want you to have access to anything. She don't want you to be famous online. She don't want you to be popular. She don't want none of that for you. She wants you to sit down and shut up and be quiet. And she would rather actually you be back broke. Why? Because you, she can control you then. But now that you're getting your own money, you don't need her car. You don't need her permission. You don't need nothing from her. And she's getting jealous of that shit. And it's pissing her off. And the more money you make, the more problems you are actually having at home. You had problems when y'all was broke. And now that you got the money and you making money, now the shit is fucking worse. It's supposed to be better, but she's jealous that you are actually making fucking more money than her. And now the relationship is worse. The family is not good because you are actually out here doing the same fucking thing she wanted you to do from the beginning. It's really fucked up. Don't allow no woman to put you through this bullshit. Get the fuck away from her. Okay. There are many people out here going through this, and it's really messed up. If she can't support you, 
Because let me tell you something. If you are actually successful as an entrepreneur, it takes hard work and it takes a certain mindset of a human being to be able to make a lot of money from home without a job. It takes a whole, it takes, it takes a dedication that most people don't have, right? It takes being consistent. And you put in all that work, you are consistent, you're driven, you're self, you're, you're just self-driven, you are motivating yourself, you put in a lot of work to get to where you are. And now she want to tear it down. Now she want to create confusion in the house. Now she want to she wanna fuck with you so she can throw you off your game. See, you're going to mess around and let your income fall. And all that hard work you put in, you're going to throw it away on a woman who want to see you fail. A woman who wants to see you fail. They are out there. And it's really fucked up. Get away from her today. If she's not going to support you, because at the end of the day, if you made this decision to become an entrepreneur, you got to put away money to save for your future. You got to take care. If you've got kids, you got to take care of your kids with this. You got to pay your bills. And this is what you've chosen to do. So if you are now popular online and if, you know, the, you know, uh, you get all these video views and, and likes and comments and all this stuff, whatever the fuck. And she getting jealous that other women are saying nice things about you now. Whatever the fuck. First she was dusty as hell. Now you riding around in nice cars, got on nice clothes. You may be getting attention from women or whatever online stuff. So fucking what? It is what it is. Women are attracted to successful people. It always has been there and it always will be there. If she can't fucking deal with it, you need to get the fuck away from her. Or she gonna fuck your life up. And she will distract you and fuck with your head and argue and argue and argue and argue with you until you have fallen. And then guess what is going to happen? When you fall, it's going to be right back to the same shit. Oh, now you're not making enough money. And then she's going to fuck with you about that shit. Do not allow a woman to put your life in a box and fuck your mind up because you're trying to be a better person. And you're trying to make more money so you can take care of yourself. Okay? Don't do it. Take my advice. If you're going through this... Better leave her ass alone. Get away. And maybe you just have to get away from a while to make her realize what she got. And she need to appreciate you. She need to treat you good. And she need to honor you for actually stepping your game up and going from nothing to becoming something in somebody. If she can't respect that, she need to go.